Hey guys, this is Kitsy Higgins and I connect with your deceased loved ones to work with you on a healing journey and to transform your life. So on this video, I wanted to talk about the energy of masculine feminine. Uh, there's so much judgment in society today on, you know, you being a female and being in the energy of feminine. The thing is, so is, uh, at a core consciousness level, there is no boy girl. There is no, um, one person being exactly, well, there's some people, but there is, um, masculine and feminine, feminine, uh, you may have a little bit of both, or you may have just one or just the other. Uh, so it's one of those things where, uh, you know, God made you exactly the way you're supposed to be. And if you're female, you like women or you like men and, uh, but you're still very masculine, then that is totally okay. And there is no judgment, no matter what, no matter if you're male, semi-feminine, but you're still attracted to women, that's fine too. It is what it is, and God created you exactly the way you're meant to be, and it's okay to accept that. And, you know, it's one of those things where we are all, every single one of us, is, there's no one person exactly like us. So, uh, you know, for me, when I was doing my original business of being a psychic medium, being the CEO of my business and doing everything, I was very stepping into that masculine energy of doing everything um, and just really stepping into the that masculine, I can do it, I can do it myself, and I don't need any help. And so for me, I noticed very easily uh, I stepped into that masculine role of that and I took on masculine energy and then there was the then uh now i kind of restructured my business where it is more me receiving help which is feminine energy so it's one of those things that if you know of someone that may be male and are straight but just are a little bit feminine that is totally normal and vice versa, woman that's straight, but is a little bit masculine. You might be like, wow, like there's just something about her that um, comes off manlyish or something. That is normal. And at a true consciousness level, at a true level of creation, there is no male, female. Uh, there is those body parts. There is those energies. But um, each of us, as soon as we put on that judgment of we're male, we're female, or boy, girl, it really kind of limits you of the energies that you could be receiving of the opposite sex because you now limited you say, I know this is so interesting. I know you're like, wait, what the hell is she talking about? But at a, at a consciousness level. Um, so if there's someone, you know, or if you know that, yes, I am a little bit in this way, it's okay. And that's where it's stemming from, uh, comment down below what you think about this comment down below. Um, you know, how you may know of someone that steps into that opposite gender role very easily and, uh, and where you're watching from. So the best advice that I have is just to really accept who you are and, um, you know, God made us maybe a hundred percent masculine, maybe God made us a hundred percent feminine, but then there's other people that maybe God made you 45% masculine and 55% feminine but you're in a feminine, you're in a woman body or in a man body. So it's kind of like that whole thing of, you know, he's a guy's guy. Then there's other people who are the guy's girl. You know, he's a girl guy. Um, the other thing too, is I know there's some kids that I know that my son hangs out with that plays with, with Barbies and Legos that are girls and things like that. So it's one of those things where, um, you know, it's kind of one of those things of, you know, it, it originally started at a specific age and it just kind of sometimes follows through with us. But it's one of those things where me stepping into both really allows me to be a great business leader because 
Oh, nice, Big Pond. Hey, Lance, how are you? Um, it's one of those things as, as a business leader, receiving being the feminine is great. And then being in the masculine, doing things and needing to get things done is great too. So me having a little bit of both really steps into who I am as a person. So the next time you meet someone that, um, that has a little bit of both, or maybe male that's straight, that's more in the feminine energy, that's okay. And allow them to be who they're meant to be. Allow them to, um, there is no judgment as per, you know, truly at their base, how God made them be who they, who they are. So uh, I know this might be a new concept, uh, but you'll see in society where more people are saying I'm non-gender and it's true because at a true creation level, there is no genders. It's just, um, you know, the body parts and, uh, and then not having a judgment of boy, girl, and just being truly, um, if some people are more specifically just both they they step into both energies very easily. So, um, and I know there's going to be guys, guys watching this saying, what is this? But, um, there's probably at least one person you can name that, um, steps into the feminine energy, but is still straight. So it's really, we're releasing the beliefs in society. Some of us that are realizing that, uh, it's truly one of those things of, um, you know, there's those body parts, but the way how God made us is might be more masculine, feminine, or both, or one, or specific. So I leave that with you. I know it's an interesting, bizarre topic, but um, something we should really be acknowledging about ourselves and not be looking at people that um, that can step into both or or male and can really step into female as a negative. And that, you know, if it's a male that's straight, that's a nurse, that feminine energy goes really well with that job. So really look into that and think about that. So, um, and this is totally in separate from sexuality. Sexuality is something completely different um, in who it is that you're attracted to. So, uh, oh good, well thank you. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in. I'll be probably doing another video, so stay up to date. Uh, also please share if you feel that um, this might help someone or you want other people to see, uh, you know, kind of what I'm teaching and how it might help a friend or someone that is in need of this message and them knowing it's okay of where they're at and what energies they step into. So thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.